guys, welcome back to Mom and on the Cheap. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the products I bought from the Dollar Tree to make slime. So the first thing we have is a giant mixing bowl to put all of the ingredients in. Second is to mix all the ingredients so that it's not clumpy and it's mixing spoons. And then the third thing is some measuring spoons. I have some sure fresh small round containers to store my finished slime in. I have some jot white glue and that's the base of my slime. Then I have some activator which is Tide detergent. Now here are the add-ins. So these are all optional. I have some finger paint to make the slime colorful. Some Dermasol lotion to make it more soft and stretchier. Some shaving cream to make my slime more fluffy. I have some sequins to make my slime crunchy. I have a bunch of different colors of foam beads to make my slime a different texture. And I have some glitter putty to add into the slime to see what'll happen. So let's get on to making the slime. Yes! <laughs> let's go to the kitchen! Okay, so I'm going to add in my glue. And I'm just gonna add all of the glue in because there's no exact measurements. I think I'm going to do a yellow fluffy slime. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of this paint. And we're gonna see how good this paint works. And we might have to add more paint once I add in the shaving cream because the shaving cream is white and it will take up all of the color. So just gonna keep the color right there. And now we're gonna add some of this shaving cream. Ooh. About that much. Now, you're gonna add as much shaving, you can add as much shaving cream as you want. Just know that when you add the shaving cream, that's gonna be how big your slime is going to be. So I'm gonna add some more paint. We're gonna do it a little different. This might look a little orange on camera, but it's yellow. I don't know what it looks like on camera though. So I think that's the yellow I want. So now I'm gonna grab my Tide and my measuring spoons. I'm gonna pour a little bit of Tide in the top. And then I am going to probably grab one teaspoon and fill it up and add the tide and then I'm gonna mix and the slime should start coming together See how it's starting to come off and it's starting to stick onto my spoon. So 
So activator does take some time. All right, guys, so this is my finished product. It's very nice, very stretchy. And my slime doesn't fit in it, so maybe we can do a slime smoothie for the end. So my next slime, I'm going to be making a... Um, slime with the lotion and some foam beads so again I'm gonna be using a whole bottle of glue So this slime is going to be green. And I got green paint on my hand. <laughs> going to add a little bit of lotion because you never want too much lotion. Because it'll just make your slime super gr gross and super greasy and you do not want that. So now it's time to add my activator and we're gonna do the foam beads after the slime is made. And I'm gonna do some yellow foam beads. So let's get my tide ready.
Okay guys, there was a change of plans. We're not gonna do flow beads in this slime, we're gonna do the sequins. This slime is a little bit too hard to put the flow beads in, so we're gonna do sequins. And I think I'm gonna do this super pretty navy color. So I'm just going to put a little bit of more activator in it, just a tiny bit, like an eighth, one eighth teaspoon. Because it doesn't need that much, it's just so droopy and gloopy that it just needs a tiny bit more of activator. our finished sequin slime. Okay, this slime is going to be the foam bead slime. And I'm just going to make a normal jot glue slime, but we're going to add the shavings into it. So it's going to be a fluffy foam. And this one is going to be blue with purple flum beads. So we're gonna add the shaving cream first. And I'm not going to do too much of it. So I'm going to grab the blue paint. And I'm going to add some. This I'm going to add a little bit of lotion to, just not as much as the other one, just so that the shaving cream doesn't take over and the foam beads will actually stick. So now it's time to put the foam beads in. Just gonna do that much. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I love it. Okay, so now we're just gonna make a normal basic jot glue slime and show you the differences of add-ins versus just jot glue and activator.
Okay guys, so this is the finished product of the normal jock glue. So it kind of, I overactivated it a little bit, so it's kind of like gross, but it's okay. Um, jock glue, I think is very nice, is a very nice glue to use when you're making slime. So, it's time for me to mix my slime smoothie. I'm going to have a prediction. I think it's going to be green. Let's see if my prediction is right. Okay guys, so my prediction was wrong. It's actually blue with a bunch of foam beads. Guys, I hope you liked my video. And give it a like, give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see me do more slime videos.